Kiram. How are you doing today? Good, thank you, Gilbert. How are you doing? Great. Uh, great to see you here. Maybe you can just start off by giving us uh, a brief overview about your company, Volta Metals. Yeah, absolutely. Volta Metals is a junior exploration company uh, focused in critical minerals in Ontario, Canada. We have two projects, uh, really exciting projects in critical minerals. The new project that we got is the one that is really, uh, really good. It's advanced. It's a deposit for rare earths and gallium with road access, all the infrastructure in place, mineralization on surface, a lot more to uncover. Great. Uh, I think you want to focus more on this new project as we talk about it. And the Swing Lavert uh, project, as you mentioned, will focus on wear of and gallium. So why is this so strategically important for investors to know? And how do you plan to advance this project? Absolutely. Look, my mother-in-law talks about rare earths. So <laughs> it's it's all right now. Um, countries are realizing the importance of rare earths and specifically gallium as well. So just as an overview, rare earths go into all the electronics that we use, these computers making us connect over video right now, um, pretty much everywhere in new cars, not only electric cars, but your regular combustion engine cars, the seat uh, moving things, all that. But more specifically, it goes into data centers um, and defense. All those precision magnets make it possible for, you know, the rockets, everything else. So it's becoming more and more important. But also with the separation of East and West, uh, the globalization shrinking, uh, countries are realizing the importance to make it in-house and onshoring. But what's exciting with this project is there's a lot of gallium. Apart from the rare earth deposit, there's a gallium, really, really good gallium resource there that is predominantly used in semiconductors. Gallium nitrate is replacing silicon and may, because it's a lot faster to respond, making videos available for AI, as well as data centers. So that's why we're very excited about this, to provide this standalone resource will be the only one in North America. Interesting to know. Let's let's talk a bit about more on gallium because uh, the mm -hmm. audience probably are aware of what's the, what the wearer of has done because uh, I realized gallium's prices has gone up quite a bit. Uh, what what would be the reason be? And what, what sort of the long-term outlook for gallium here? Yeah. How voter will play a role in this? Absolutely. Two things in the last, I would say, eight, 10 months uh, triggered that. Before that, it was around $150, $200 per kilo. Uh, in December, early December, China restricted exports of gallium. Currently, you can't take gallium out of China. Then U.S. retaliated some other things as well, as we all know. But um, with that, AI, like I said, semiconductors are now replacing silicon with, um, with gallium because of its 10 times faster response rate, gallium nitrate, and media, all of that. So that created a lot of surge on the demand. And gallium, there's not a lot of gallium resource. There's no gallium resource, in fact, that we know of. It's always a byproduct of zinc or aluminum uh, production. So that shot up the price. It's been increasing since December every day. Now it's over $1,000 per kilo. And the outlook is even 20% more for this year alone uh, in, in the short term, but also in the long term as well. Look, in our lithium project before getting this project we announced in january gallium also in our other project since then a lot of um outside of this country a lot of companies contacted us for gallium so having an advanced project on surface with infrastructure is extremely important right now which we have now so you recently now completed the financing that weighs a little bit of money so how will be the, the use of proceeds for those funds uh, for a company? Right. We were fortunate that uh, we did that. And uh, right now, immediately, we're looking to update the resource because um, there's a lot of low-hanging fruit. We will probably uh, poke some holes to, you know, proof of concept as well as increase the resource. And then 
update the resource by increasing, adding more gallium and, uh, and so forth to the resource. Those are our immediate plans. So we will be drilling, we will generate more targets. So there will be constant news flow, good news flow that we know as we see in the short term, in the mid term, we're gonna get it to PA level because there's a lot of, lot of uh, incentives for us to work with governments, uh, both the US and Canada to move this, uh, move this forward, this project. And let's talk about a uh, final question for you about the share price, which is the most important thing for investors want to know about. You started, uh, you've been a bit quiet before, but you started to be active since you acquired this new project. So what are the main catalysts? You probably talk a bit about that in the next 12 months so that uh, investors can look forward to. Absolutely. Yeah, we've been uh, quieter uh, to a sense. Look, we our team did an amazing job in very short amount of time. We came up with lithium discoveries. Now we have, uh, you know, we, in the last one this year earlier, cesium and gallium in, our, in that project. But this project is way more exciting in this time, at this time, because of uh, the reasons we mentioned. But in the short term, we're gonna be drilling. We're gonna get good results for gallium. Probably the best results you're gonna get in North America and, and rare earths and it's on surface. So we're gonna try to advance this project. There will be constant news flow on the drilling. We know there is a lot more targets that we're gonna go around it as well. So uh, should expect constant news flow this year and update the resource before the year end as well. Love to hear. So hopefully we can uh, chat uh, you know, a few months after and then we talk about some of the results there you're showing. Absolutely. would love to do that. It's always a pleasure. Thanks for having me. Indeed. Thank you for your time, Karen. Thank you.